What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sean Gonzalez of Gonzalez Films. Today I want to show you guys this technique that I use on how to get perfect bokeh every time while shooting anamorphic on your projector lenses. I know a lot of you guys get that diamond bokeh and it's kind of annoying. It defeats the purpose of shooting anamorphic actually. I'm going to show you guys how you can get perfect bokeh every time you shoot anamorphic so let's get into it. Okay so I'm going to show you guys how I achieve getting perfect oval bokeh. You need a roll of paper tape. Then I bought a sheet of construction paper. It's probably like two and a half feet by one and a half feet. I cut out these ovals with a vinyl cutter. You don't need a vinyl cutter. You can use scissors. You can use a straight razor blade. You know, a lot of tracing you could print out with your printer onto a white sheet of paper and then trace it onto the black construction paper. So this is just a bunch of trial and error, different aperture sizes that I was trying to achieve. None of them actually worked. What I would do is cut them out, similar to some of the anamorphic filters out there. Um, I would put it on the front of the taking lens, then I would put the anamorphic projector lens on top of that. And I didn't see any results in any of the changed bokeh. When you stop your lens down, all the way open right here, you can see it's a perfect circle. When you stop it down to get a sharper image, like so, you see a jagged cornered um, shape on the inside of the lens. We'll call it a diamond or it's a hexagon or something like that, the shape of a stop sign. But anyway, you get this ugly pointy cornered shape on the inside when you stop down to get your sharp image. And it's ugly because your sensor is seeing that shape, projecting it through the projector lens. It looks horrible in your bokeh when you're viewing the footage on a monitor or when you're editing and you're like, why does it look like that? It's supposed to be oval. You know, this defeats the purpose of shooting anamorphic if you're missing one of the aesthetics that you're supposed to get, that creamy bokeh look. You know, it was just a bunch of trial and error. I was trying the front of the lens. This is a 40 mil, that's a 50 mil. I tried on both of them. So. You know, I have to stop down to get a sharp image at f2.8. So my next step was to try the back of the taking lens. So what I did was, let me take this off of here, this dummy adapter. I put these ovals on the back of the taking lens and that didn't even work. It's just sitting in there because it's just a messed up try. But anyway, that didn't even work. So we'll get that out of there. I was like, you know what? I might as well just buy an expensive wide pancake lens with more blades in it because the the more blades you have, the smoother the uh, iris will be in shape, circular. So I was like, wait a minute, circular? How about I just cut out a f-stop filter circular? So I taped it, put it onto the back of the lens and this one already has it on there. So I'm just gonna show you. The sensor is going to be looking straight through this taking lens and it's, all it's going to see is that circle. It's not going to see any of the blades. From this side, you can see the perfect circle as well. But on this lens, I have to stop down to F4 to get a sharp image and as you can see, you have a ugly jagged diamond shape from this side. But on this side, you can't really see it. It looks circular unless you tilt it. But that doesn't matter because, see those corner blades in there? That doesn't matter because the sensor is just gonna see this circle back here, imitating the iris blades uh, shape. So I'll put this dummy adapter back on. So put that on there. What I'm gonna do is show you guys with this Sancor 16C projector lens, which is what I'm using. With the RAF clamp down here. All right, so that's on there. And I also have a Rapido FVD 16A, which I'll show you in a second. All this together. But, so since this aperture, this uh, F4 aperture is on here, but, but you're gonna have to have a, like a whole bunch of trial and error on getting the right size, but we'll just call this the F4 aperture. Um, I can actually open this taking lens wide open because the sensor is only going to see the f4 size So looking through the front of the anamorphic You can see a perfect oval 
and that's all you need to fix your bokeh from this side probably said it a thousand times already but your sensor is only going to see that circle projected through the anamorphic lens is that perfect oval shape that you want for anamorphic with the fbd 16a on the front this just turns your anamorphic setup into a single focus anamorphic lens Again, you see that perfect oval shape on the inside. So now I'm gonna show you guys some sample images before and after, with and without the filter. This way you get an idea of what it's doing, even though I'm pretty sure you're gonna be able to tell But that's basically all you do. It's gonna cost you two bucks. If you have some of the tools to cut it out, you know, that's even better for you, less hassle. And that's all you need. So I'm gonna show you guys some sample shots right now. And you let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching guys, I appreciate the support. If you found this video informational and helpful, please subscribe to my channel, hit that like button, and drop a comment down below for the next video that you guys wanna see, and I'll see you guys next time.